What's good, Tay fam? Today we have South Park Season 8, Episode 14, Woodland Critter Christmas. So, without further ado, let's get straight into this episode. Way up in the mountains in a small little town, the Is main this street like was a being Grinch intro? all up and down. People stood in long lines, sometimes waiting hours One of my favorite Christmas movies. Christmas needs to be bought in a store. But out in the forest, not too far away, the little woodland critters were also preparing for their Christmas day. You know what this reminds me of? I think it was called Happy Tree Friends or something like that. This kind of reminds me of that. This is going to turn evil real quick. There was Squirrely the Squirrel, Rabbity the Rabbit, Beavery the Beaver, and Barry the Bear, Porcupiney the Porcupine, Skunky the Skunk, Did Fox that guy the have Fox, a hood bandana on? A do rag? Mousy the mouse and chickadee the chickadee all made the forest their house. I didn't know squirrels could be quip or is that a por porcupine? Every critter holds it dear, every animal big or small. Christmas means so much to us all. Mmm, balls. Welcome to our forest. How do you like our Christmas tree? It's nice. I see a problem. What is it, Mousy? Our Christmas tree doesn't have a star. I wasn't expecting oh, a talking animal episode. We a tree with no star on it. What are we is this a dream do? or is this now, actually happening? Down, Maybe our new friend can help us find a star. Can you really? Oh, would you really? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. And so, using some paper and working with glee, the boy in the red poofball hat made a star for the tree. We're doing some Dr. Zeus rhyming in this episode. The little critters cheered, and Beavy said with a smile, How would you like to sing and dance with us for a while? Uh, no thanks. I'm gonna go home. Damn, rejected. G goodbye, Skinny! Goodbye, Skinny! Goodbye, Skinny! Goodbye, Skinny! Goodbye, Skinny! Goodbye, Skinny! That's oh, creepy as hell. His friends were all there! What a wonderful surprise! The yeah, little boy hell no. smiled with joy in his eyes. That's just creepy. You aren't gonna believe what happens, Danny. Porcupiney is pregnant. You guys, huh? I have to go to school tomorrow. I deduce the man boy doesn't understand. Is that even possible? Porcupiney is a virgin, Danny. Her conception was immaculate. She's gonna give birth to our Lord and Savior. What? Huh? It's been foretold unto me that I would give birth on Christmas Day. Finally, the critters are gonna have a Savior of their very own of their very own. There's just one problem. I thought it was already have a one. for our Savior to be born in. Oh. Oh. But we got to have a manger. What the hell's a manger? Of course I'll build you a manger, the little boy cried. And he winked at his critter friends and leapt to their side. I have no idea what that is. And out in the woods, the boy steamed right ahead, making a place for the critter babe to lay its sweet head. If it isn't the nicest manger I ever saw, I deduce it shall serve as a perfectly suitable resting place for the son of our lord. My son will have the nicest bed in all the forest. Fit for a king. This is going to be the best creator Christmas ever. It's almost time when the time is here. The time that's only once a year. I am going now. Wait cause it's so near. <laughs> Jesus, I was vibing. The mountain lion, hide! Go away, shoot. Wow, it actually worked? Is it gone? I deduce it is. Well, this is the end. The mountain lion obviously knows Porcupine is pregnant, and he's going to kill it again. Yeah, again. GG. Every Christmas, the mountain lion comes down and eats the virgin critter impregnated with the son of our lord. This is a very weird cult. That's what it feels like. We've got Stanny. Of course, Stanny can do anything. If he can build a manger, he can stop that mean old mountain lion. Christmas is saved. Yay! 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 Is it there? High is it really? In the forest on a dark, craggly peak. The horrid mountain lion lived and preyed on the weak. For the critters to be saved, someone had to stop that nasty old cat. God damn it, this is f***ing ridiculous. Said the little boy in the red poofball hat. Yeah, this is actually the Grinch now. Come on, critter killer. Your days of slaughtering innocent little animals are over. Rawr! Damn. That animal must be really slow. Damn! This has got all kinds of movies in it. Lion King, Grinch. The mountain lion lay slain on the cold ground below. Okay, there. Mommy, 
Damn. That's messed up. Wake up, mommy, wake up. Was the critters tricking Stan? Man boy, why? Why did you kill her mommy? Why? I... The critters, they're... Birth of the Savior? Maybe they're the evil one. The tiny cubs all gathered together and cried. All alone in the world because their mother had died. Ha uh, ha! Uh. Well, it's been much too long now. I'm afraid our helpful friend Stanny must be very dead. Yup, the mountain lion probably swallowed him whole. I guess that means our savior is gonna be made into savior stew. Uh. I'm so confused. Who's the bad guy in this? Stanny, you're alive! But does that mean you killed the mountain lion? It's dead. He did it! Now our Critter Christmas can finally happen! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Well, there we wait, go. Wait, what? So you've done us a huge favor, Stanny! Without there the was a twist of a century. The porcupine can give birth to the Antichrist! Yay! Yay! Wait, wait, I was gonna say. You said she was giving birth to your savior! Yes, to the son of our lord, Satan, the prince of darkness. But I thought you meant the son of God! Well, think about it. You really think God would have sex with a porcupine? No way! Only Satan, prince of darkness, and king of all evil would do that! That's facts why, Salu. I never really thought of it like that, but that's spot on. Yeah, I knew the shit was gonna turn evil real quick. I called it from the start. Blood orgy! Yay! Blood orgy! Blood orgy! Jesus! Are you sure the devil even did it? Maybe one of those guys did it. Hey, one of those animals is the father. Now that he'd killed the noble Lion Queen, there was nobody to stop the apocalypse, it seemed. Uh. I know, he said with a new happy grin. I'll go back to the forest and speak with those critters again. He ran out the living room, turned off the light, and went back to the forest to set everything right. Can you even do it? Blow. And went back to the forest to set everything no. right. He tried Moving to forget all about it by watching TV, but his conscience caught up with him into the forest he did flee. Leave me alone! He knew that only by going to the forest could he- All right, all right, all right! God! I was enjoying it. Hey, look everyone! It's your old pal, Stanny! Old pal? Oh, you just Stanley. met him like yesterday. Yeah, we've got a big problem. The great Satan has commanded that when the Antichrist is born, we must find a human host body to transfer it into. The human must be non-baptized and heathenistic against Christ. <laughs> we figured you'd be perfect! Yay! I'm not a heathen. I was baptized and my family's Christian. <laughs> I like how they're disappointed. Oh dear, maybe we won't have a critter Christmas after all. Now don't be down, y'all. Stanny can help us find a non-baptized heathen human. Will you really, Stanny? No! Yeah, Cartman. I can guess of one. But Cartman in with Satan inside would be like. We have to use our evil satanic powers. Top tier over. villain. Right, whatever. I'm taking down the manger I built. Jesus, that turned evil will pick. Not the wet glowing guys. What the hell? Satanic power sure did the trick. Our powers get stronger every day. Get stronger every day. Sorry, Stanny, but you see, nothing can stop the birth of the Antichrist except for a mountain lion. And you got rid of her. Yay! The boy shook with anger. He broke a sweat and fell. I Ill. mean, you couldn't find you another one. Right? There were three mountain lion cubs still alive on the exactly. hill. Exactly. Oh yeah. Anybody in there? Oh no, it's the man boy who killed mommy. He's come to kill us now. It's okay. I died inside when mommy was killed, anyways. Damn. That's messed up. Sorry I killed your mom. The, the squirrel told me she was evil. You got tricked by a squirrel? Gee, <laughs> you're not too smart, are you, mister? Oh, yeah, he is a bit loopy. I'm trying to make this all right again, but the only thing that can stop devil-worshipping critters is a mountain lion. Yeah, and you killed her. Well, you're mountain lions. Us? No, we're just kids. We still have our baby teeth. There still has to be a way for you to kill the porcupine's baby. What? You mean like in an abortion? <laughs> yeah, Jesus, that came out of nowhere. Work, but we don't know how to give abortions. Do you know some place we can learn, mister? 
Where can uh, they learn I mean... that? The boy said with a frown. I know the abortion clinic just outside of town. What? So he I like how that now white was giving him tips. Stormed, and took them to where abortions are performed. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he it did. It seems like he kind of did. No, he didn't. Yes. The now white would know. Did. Oh, God damn it! Said the boy in the red poofball hat. We've made it already, little cubs. Fancy that! This episode's insane. It just keeps on getting worse and worse in terms of how bad <laughs> it does seem like a South Park Christmas episode. And so the little boy and the cubs gathered around the chair base and all day watched abortion after abortion take place. So they're gonna become doctors? Christmas time is once a year. Every critter holds it dear. What an episode. What an episode. When we hear about how Christmas only comes once a year. This better have a point, dude. This really better have a point. I feel like it doesn't really have a point. It's just crazy for the point of being crazy. What the hell? How come you're all alone on Damn. Christmas Eve? Not Kyle My as well. Family doesn't celebrate Christmas. Aw, oh, but why? Well, because we don't really believe in Jesus. Jesus, they found one. Yay! But does that mean you aren't baptized? No, I'm Jewish. Yay! Yay! You got to come with us! You're perfect. Don't just fall perfect. for the trick. God damn it, Kyle. For the world to be saved, there was only one shot. A little boy with three cubs and an abortion plot. Okay, come on, the critters are over this way. You mountain lions ready to stop the Antichrist from being born? Sure, we know how to give abortions now. He arrived at the critter forest ready to fight. Of course he did. But he gasped when he saw a most dreadful sight. We did it! The critter Antichrist is born, bringing a thousand years of darkness to the forest. Yeah, that's terrifying. The boy in the red poofball hat was too late. Too late? What the hell is that? Now all we got to do is put the Antichrist into our human host. That's it? 10,000 years of darkness and I don't even have a Merry Christmas? When up in the sky, the sound of sleigh bells were heard. And a jolly red okay, sleigh come on, flew Santa. down to the earth like a bird. Do something. It's Santa Claus! Yay! Yay! Let's eat his flesh! Jesus. Why is there a red star glowing in the sky? We brought forth the Antichrist with help from our good friend, Stanny. You should be ashamed. I mean, I didn't mean to help them. I tried to stop them. Well, good going, stupid. <laughs> There's only one way to stop devil-worshipping critters. Damn, he popped the shotgun out. Santa's a fuck. Come on, dude. Gee whiz, Santa. You're not going to kill me, are you? Yes, he is. Gangsta Santa. The Antichrist cannot survive without a human host body to go into. No. No, I want to have the Antichrist inside me. What? Huh? Well, With his well power, that's a thing I to say. make the earth a better place for the Jews. You might need to pop him. That's one more bullet. Oh, another shit. sense of your stupid story. Of course it was a Cartman story. I was gonna say, there's no way animals can talk. It's a way to rip on me for being Jewish at Christmas again! Mr. Gerson, could you do something, please? Sorry, Eric, but if Kyle feels discriminated against, you'll have to stop, or else I'll get a call from his mother. But what happened? Yeah, did Kyle bring a thousand years of darkness or not? What happens to the lion cubs? Well, I guess we'll never know because Kyle doesn't want to hear how it ends. No, it all worked out, right? The world was saved and I went home for Christmas dinner. Grace going, Kyle. Oh, come on. It's obvious what happens. I get killed by Santa Claus so that Christmas is saved. That's not at all what happens. Oh, come on. Let him read us the end. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, do yeah, yeah let's do it. All right, fine. Oh, dear, my best friend is possessed. How about that? Said the little boy in the red poofball hat. Now I shall rule the... Uh, uh, God, it burns. Ah, uh, my soul is on fire. I didn't know it would feel so, so dark and evil. Well, what did you expect, dude? It's the son of the devil. Please, I don't want to be the vessel for the Antichrist. I'm sorry, but it's too late, Kyle. Santa's gonna have to kill you. <laughs> Why did he say it like that? The little boy fretted. He almost started to bawl. But that's when he came up with the best idea of all. 
took them to see how abortions are done. What? Now, Cubs, do like they showed you. Hurry up fast. Get the Antichrist out of my friend Kyle's ass. Is it what? The twinkling starlight, each little cub did their portion. Jesus. They remembered all they had learned and gave Kyle an abortion. It's not even possible. I guess it is. Thanks, everybody. Damn, Santa's a J in us. It seems that you have really been through a lot. Is there any special present you would like this year? Yeah, yeah, there is. Santa can do that? Oh my, what happened? Mommy? Yay! Mommy, you're back! You're back. You're back. Yay. Mommy, you, Mommy. Oh, good. Santa can bring back life? Since when? And they all lived happily ever after. Except for Kyle, who died of AIDS two weeks later. Of course he did. God damn it, Carmen! I knew those animals had to turn evil at some point, but I didn't think they would trick Stan in killing the... I forgot the animal type, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I just didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, good twist. And Kyle voluntarily putting Satan into himself. Just wow. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time.